the weather. Now, climate specialist Jeff Berardelli. In today's climate classroom, airline travel will be in full force for the holidays. And for many, a long flight will make up a big chunk of their greenhouse emissions for the year. For instance, a round trip from Tampa to Los Angeles is equivalent to six months of driving. Now, if you are so inclined, you can offset those emissions by purchasing carbon office offsets. They allow you to feel better about the carbon that you give off by paying a project to reduce the equivalent amount, thereby canceling out your carbon contribution. Companies are increasingly using this method to limit their carbon footprint, especially when it's hard to reduce their carbon emissions. Let's take, for example, an airline. Jet fuel, which produces lots of emissions, is the only way to power large commercial jets. If you're an airline looking to reduce emissions, you have no choice but to buy offsets. Now, in a recent press release, JetBlue said they view offsets as a bridge solution, and they continue to see value in high-quality projects. But therein lies the concern. It's very difficult to evaluate the quality of projects. For example, growing or preserving forests are the most common type of offset because trees absorb carbon dioxide. But a warming climate means an increase in wildfires. And as these trees go up in smoke, so do the carbon credits. Now, paying farmers to sequester carbon in their soil is also growing in popularity. But recent studies show that soil may not be as good as once thought. Another option is directing carbon offset money to fund renewable energy projects. This can help accelerate the transition to clean energy. But again, it's hard to know just how much emission reduction these projects will produce. Now, the voluntary carbon market is trying to address this uncertainty with new organizations popping up to set standards and certify the quality of projects. But critics argue that offsets are a distraction that the funds would be better spent by directly reducing emissions, and that companies can use offsets to pretend to be greener than they are and get a free pass to pollute more. Now, despite the concerns, the offset market is expected to grow by leaps and bounds. Today, it's worth $2 billion, and by 2030, it may balloon to $50 billion. For more Climate Classroom, visit WFLA.com.